Mr. Cosmopolitan and Drum Lee just in behind. Over the second last, and it's two below, Mr. Cosmopolitan, a mistake. Like it a lot, the challenger on the near side, down to the final fence, and two below, Robbie Colgan, pressed by Like it a lot, on the near side for Adrian Heskin, the final fence, nothing between them, and Like it a lot on the near side, Tubaloo just pecked on landing and away from it, like it a lot, leads from Tubaloo, a break to Mr. Cosmopolitan and up towards the finish. It's like it a lot, driven out by Adrian Heskin to just hold off the renewed effort of Tubaloo on the inside. Just put it up to the judge, maybe. Like it a lot, Tubaloo. Mr. Cosmopolitan is third and they're well clear. Fourth home is Drum Lee. Mr. Cosmopolitan and Drum Lee just in behind. Over the second last, and it's two below, Mr. Cosmopolitan, a mistake. Like it a lot, the challenger on the near side, down to the final fence. And two below, Robbie Colgan, pressed by like it a lot, on the near side for Adrian Heskin, the final fence, nothing between them. And like it a lot on the near side, Tubaloo just pecked on landing and away from it, like it a lot, leads from Tubaloo, a break to Mr. Cosmopolitan and up towards the finish. It's like it a lot, driven out by Adrian Heskin to just hold off the renewed effort of Tubaloo on the inside. Just put it up to the judge, maybe. Like it a lot, Tubaloo. Mr. Cosmopolitan is third and they're well clear. Fourth home is Drum Lee. A break of a few lengths to our Katie. Then a further break and clear of Spring Bell and Hellcat Maggie with two to jump. Not much between them. On the near side, Carrigan Kigeli at the far side, Triplets Joy. And our Katie now making ground on the outside as they come down to the final fence. And our Katie now has raced up on the stand side to just head Carrigan Kigeli and Triplets Joy. And at the final fence, our Katie over in the lead now as they begin the run inside the last 200. Our Katie and Brian Hayes from Carrigan Kigeli and Triplets Joy on the run up to the finish. It's our Katie, the leader, out three lengths in front of Carrigan Kigeli and at the line. Our Katie and Brian Hayes wins. Carrigan Kigeli and Triplets Joy clear of Spring Bell and Hellcat Maggie. A break of a few lengths to our Katie. Then a further break and clear of Spring Bell and Hellcat Maggie with two to jump. Not much between them. On the near side, Carrigan Kigeli at the far side, Triplets Joy. And our Katie now making ground on the outside as they come down to the final fence. And our Katie now has raced up on the stand side to just head Carrigan Kigeli and Triplets Joy. And at the final fence, our Katie over in the lead now as they begin the run inside the last 200. Our Katie and Brian Hayes from Carrigan Kigeli and Triplets Joy on the run up to the finish. It's our Katie, the leader, out three lengths in front of Carrigan Kigeli and at the line. Our Katie and Brian Hayes wins. Carrigan Kigeli, a triplets joy clear of Spring Bell and Hellcat Maggie. Spread across the track, Delvin Road has made good headway on the outside. Totally dominant with Arctic Skipper. These two in front of Isabel's Princess. Say no to agree, back in fifth. Totally dominant now and on the far side, Arctic Skipper. Isabel's Princess and Delvin Road coming down out of the final flight. And it's Arctic Skipper and totally dominant at the final flight. Arctic Skipper totally dominant the near side. Racing inside the last 150 yards. Arctic Skipper and totally dominant. It's to be a head bobber. Totally dominant on the near side of Arctic Skipper. Isabel's Princess third and fourth home is Delvin Road. Spread across the track, Delvin Road has made good headway on the outside. Totally dominant with Arctic Skipper. These two in front of Isabel's Princess. Say no to agree, back in fifth. Totally dominant now and on the far side, Arctic Skipper. Isabel's Princess and Delvin Road coming down out of the final flight. And it's Arctic Skipper and totally dominant at the final flight. Arctic Skipper totally dominant the near side. Racing inside the last 150 yards. Arctic Skipper and totally dominant. It's to be a head bobber. Totally dominant on the near side of Arctic Skipper. Isabel's Princess third and fourth home is Delvin Road.
over at Rhinesbrook, lands just in the lead from Veneti and Demay. Vegetari, it is then followed by Mix Padoon. Down now to the final flight, and Rhinesbrook has kicked a couple of lengths from Vegetarian. Veneti and Demay is third as they come now towards the final flight. And it's Rhinesbrook who's in the lead from Ike Fogarty from Vegetarian. They've gone on from Veneti and Demay, and over it now, it's Rhinesbrook who moves on. A slight mistake by Vegetarian, but Rhinesbrook has kicked away to win him impressively by a good eight to ten lengths for Mikey Fogarty. Vegetari at second, Veniti and the is third, and they're clear of Mix Badoon and Samson Bill. Over at Rhinesbrook, lands just in the lead from Veneti and Demay. Vegetari, it is then followed by Mix Padoon. Down now to the final flight, and Rhinesbrook has kicked a couple of lengths from Vegetari. Veneti and Demay is third as they come now towards the final flight. And it's Rhinesbrook who's in the lead from Ike Fogarty from Vegetari. They've gone on from Veneti and Demay, and over it now, it's Rhinesbrook who moves on. A slight mistake by Vegetari, but Rhinesbrook has kicked away to win him impressively by a good eight to ten lengths for Mikey Fogarty. Vegetari at second, Veniti and May is third, and they're clear of Mix Badoon and Samson Bill. Two to jump now, romantic fashion, and Shulamok in the center, really unique towards the near side, racing down towards the final flight. Shulamok, really unique, romantic fashion, three in line as they come down towards the final flight, and there's absolutely nothing between the three. Really unique in the center is Shulamok, the far side, romantic fashion, the final flight, and really unique on the near side of romantic fashion, Shulamok between them at the final flight, and over it, really unique, romantic fashion is still battling on on the far side and running up to the finish. It's really unique from Romantic Fashion. It's a head bobber. Really unique will get there for Brian O'Connell. Romantic Fashion, Shulamok, Sidney Thompson and Kyman's Way. Two to jump now, Romantic Fashion and Shulamok in the center. Really unique towards the near side. Racing down towards the final flight. Shulamok, really unique, Romantic Fashion. Three in line as they come down towards the final flight. And there's absolutely nothing between the three. Really unique in the center is Shulamok. The far side, Romantic Fashion. The final flight. And really unique on the near side of Romantic Fashion. Shulamok between them at the final flight. And over it, really unique, Romantic Fashion is still battling on on the far side and running up to the finish. It's really unique from Romantic Fashion. It's a head bobber. Really unique will get there for Brian O'Connell. Romantic Fashion, Shulamok, Sidney Thompson and Kyman's Way. Judy Dance on the near side of the party's over. Oscar Swan between horses. Skahana Bridge and Indian Rupee. And they're followed by Put in the Boot. Racing downhill now towards the final flight. And it's Judy Dance in the lead from Oscar Swan. And on the far side, the party's over. One flight left to jump. Judy Dance and Danny Howard, Oscar Swan, now battling on well on the far side for Davy Russell as they come down to the final flight now. And at the last, it's Oscar Swan made a slight mistake. Judy Dance now sees the opportunity as they run up towards the finish. Judy Dance from Oscar Swan as they go towards the line. Judy Dance just got to beat Oscar Swan. Clear of the party's over. Put in the boot takes fourth place ahead of Indian Rupee, who's five. Judy Dance on the near side of the party's over. Oscar Swan between horses. Skahana Bridge and Indian Rupee. And they're followed by Put in the Boot. Racing downhill now towards the final flight. And it's Judy Dance in the lead from Oscar Swan. And on the far side, the party's over. One flight left to jump. Judy Dance and Danny Howard, Oscar Swan, now battling on well on the far side for Davy Russell as they come down to the final flight now. And at the last... It's Oscar Swan made a slight mistake. Judy Dance now sees the opportunity as they run up towards the finish. Judy Dance from Oscar Swan as they go towards the line. Judy Dance just got to beat Oscar Swan. Clear of the party's over. Put in the boot takes fourth place ahead of Indian Rupee, who's five.
as they come off the bench. She's a gangster continuing in front, sticking towards the outside. A gentleman, listen, dear, in the center. Down the outside, Briar Lane, Robin, and making ground, Valgo de Roncheray, still just tucked in behind them to the final furlong. She's a gangster, listen, dear. Followed by, in the centre, coming through, Valgo de Roncheré now. And Nina Carberry has come right through in the centre. On the near side is Briar Lane. But on the run-up towards the finish, it is Valgo de Roncheré. And Nina Carberry quickly settling it. Travelled really well into the straight. Won it in a matter of strides and wins by four lengths. Followed in by Briar Lane. She's a gangster. And run hurricane ahead of Listen Deer. As they come off the bench, she's a gangster continuing in front, sticking towards the outside. A gentleman, listen, dear, in the centre. Down the outside, Briar Lane, Robin, and making ground, Valgo de Roncheray, still just tucked in behind them to the final furlong. She's a gangster, listen, dear. Followed by, in the centre, coming through, Valgo de Roncheray now, and Nina Carberry has come right through in the centre. On the near side is Briar Lane, but on the run up towards the finish, it is Valgo de Roncheray and Nina Carberry quickly settling it. Travelled really well into the straight. Won it in a matter of strides and wins by four lengths. Followed in by Briar Lane. She's a gangster and run hurricane ahead of Listen Deer.